Okie dokie. Guess what? We're going to do the waves, and those are the mo um, the big splashing surf coming in, the big waves. That's the most fun part. That was It's the most fun. So what I did is I took this, I dried it, got this back part of the ocean um, done. Now what I've done is I've taken my gouache. Remember the gouache? Designer's gouache. And I poured a big chunk of it in here, and I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of water with it. Okay, that looks good. Don't have to put a lot. Just do you see the consistency? It's pretty thick. It's opaque. It's an opaque paint, almost like acrylic paint, but it goes well with watercolor. So gouache is kind of an opaque paint. Then what I did, I took a little bit of cerulean blue with a little bit of black, and I made a soft gray because waves are never pure white. So first off, we're going we're gonna to take the pure white, and what we're going to do, I've got a number six. I think that kind of fits this painting. And I'm just going to, this is bone dry. Where I want my wave, see what I'm doing? I am just going to paint it in. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to do this. Right now I'm just kind of feeling my way. My way. Don't have a lot of water on, I'm just kind of scrubbing it on. kind of goes, I'm going to kind of do, if you kind of look at that, I'm going to kind of do where it gets skinny on the top. It's kind of flipping. It's kind of rolling. Just kind of do this. Everything is dry. Everything's dry. And I'm going to kind of go over here. I'm going to make it a little bigger over here. <clears throat> if it's not moving, add a little tiny bit of water. It's okay if you get up in the other stuff because we're, right now, we're just kind of blocking it in. Okay, that looks really good. So what I did is I just did that lip part. Okay, that looks really good. Now what I'm going to do, waves are never a solid um, white. There's always a little color, so I'm just going to kind of take my brush, rub it in the water a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cerulean blue I told you about and a little bit of black. Real light, cerulean blue and a little bit of black. So once you got the white down, whenever you put paint on top of it, I'm just going it, to, it'll go a lot lighter. It won't be as intense because the white will kind of suck it up. So right here, I just want to put, I don't think I'm going to do it around the lip. I won't do it around that part. Just the parts that are a little heavier where the wave's rolling in, a little heavier. And then I'll skip where it's rolling in over here. I'll skip and I'll put it in here. Just, not even perfect, just throw that crap on there. It just, just have fun with it. That looks good. Just like that. See that? Okay, now watch what we're going to do. I'm going to take the number six, and remember when we mixed the wonderful, the phthalo and the cobalt blue, and we did this back um, wave, and I'm also going to introduce a little bit of green too. I'm going to take that phthalo and cobalt blue, and I'm going to go up against the wave. This is just watercolor now. I'm not going to go in the white. I'm going to go around the white. I'm going to go up here. I'm moving pretty fast. If you want to throw in some cerulean blue, you sure can, or some ultramarine blue, you sure can. I'm just throwing all kinds of blues in here. See when it hits that wet gouache? See how it picks it, how it's picking it up a little bit? Okay. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to go about to here. Maybe I'll kind of go up into this one a little bit. See where it hits the paint, the wet, the um, white gouache? See how it kind of, the paint doesn't go on as strong because it's fighting with the white? Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my brush. I want to make it, sometimes when a roll, a wave on the top is rolling, it's going to be a little bit more see-through on the top of these. You know what I'm going to do? This is going to be kind of fun. I have some sap green, just good old sap green. And I'm going to put it, I, you know, green and blue always go well together. I'm just going to throw it in here. Isn't that 
school. And I'm always dipping and squeezing, and sometimes if you want to lift a little bit, you can if you feel it might be a little bit lighter up there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some water. There's no paint on here. I'm just going to pull this for a minute. I'm kind of assessing it. Now you know what I want to do because I'm moving pretty quick. I'm going to take my white again, my white gouache, and I'm going to touch it right along the surface. This is where you kind of get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I'm just going to start putting in, you know when it hits the sand and it kind of gets foamy? Look how that bled up into that. Is that what fun or what? And you know, I never freak out when I do a boo-boo because I can always fix it. So our SARP surf, this surf on this painting might cover a little bit more of the beach than the one that I did on this little one, but you know what? I don't care. That's the whole thing about it. If something happens in your painting and it doesn't kind of turn out how you want, who cares? You just make it a little bit different. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that coming in. Look how this bled up in here. So what I can do, isn't that crazy how that, I can just keep, this is where I say you can kind of reactivate um, gouache and keep putting color on top of it. Sometimes I'm just using water on my brush. Look how it made your, oh, see you could even sometimes get some kind of crazy weird things like that. I love that. Oh, that is cool. Okay. I'm getting excited. Stay calm. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some water, and maybe here, I'm just going to take some water and pull it and let it run on this beach a little bit. Remember, we're still kind of at an angle. Now what I'm going to do, and I can always come back and um, play with it a little bit. I'm going to take some of that phthalo blue and cobalt blue and maybe some ultramarine blue. And very lightly, I'm just going to line, because a lot of times you'll have a little water kind of seeping through here. Don't get too overzealous. Gonna kinda, this is where you can kind of play with it a little bit. Just so you have a little bit of the blue showing. And then what I'll do, I'm going to end this because we're kind of running out of time. And then I'll, um, I'll still be going when I hit you with the next lesson.